In this video, we introduce binary choice models. So we consider variable yi, which is binary. It means that yi can only take on values 0 and 1. What we're interested in in a binary choice model is to model yi in terms of xi, where xi is k by 1 vector of explanatory variables or uh, individual characteristics, for example. So, so an example could be that yi is whether an individual have children, or could be car ownership or house ownership, and xi could be a set of individual characteristics such as income, age, etc. How do we model this? So the way we do this is first we need a distribution. And since yi is a binary variable, the obvious choice is a Bernoulli distribution which has a density function f of yi given parameter pi which is equal to pi to the power of yi multiplied by 1 minus pi to the power of 1 minus yi. And here pi is the probability that yi is 1. What we want is to make pi a function of the individual characteristics xi. That means that we observe xi for a specific individual and given xi we can estimate what the uh, what the probability is that yi is equal to 1 for that individual. So to do this, to model this, we need a parameterization that has this feature that pi is a function of xi. So in general terms, this means that we specify pi, which is the probability that yi is equal to 1 given characteristic xi, and we simply specify that as a function of xi. So note that pi is a probability, so that implies that pi must be bounded between 0 and 1. That implies that we have to choose our function h of xi so that it is also bounded, so that h of xi is also bounded between 0 and 1. Now there are many ways of specifying this function h of xi, but the typical way of doing it is to use what we call a link function which serves the purpose of a mapping from xi onto the interval 0 to 1, and note that this is a mapping from k dimensions xi onto a single interval from 0 to 1. So we can specify pi, and then we now denote the link function as f, capital F, and typically this is expressed in terms of xi prime beta, so this is a function of the linear index xi prime beta. And we specify this function so that it's within the interval from 0 to 1. Note that this, by doing it this way, there are actually two steps. So the first is the linear index xi beta. So that's a mapping from rk, k dimensions in xi, onto r. The second step 
is the link function capital F and that takes an input which is a real number so it's a mapping from R and then on to the interval from 0 to 1. So now how do we choose this link function F we have here? We know that there are certain characteristics that it has to fulfill in particular it must fall within or it must be defined so that the function always takes on values within the range from 0 to 1. So a typical way of choosing the link function is to use distribution functions. So the distribution function we could call capital F of y that's equal to the probability that the stochastic variable y takes on a value that is smaller than uh, or equal to y. And note that this is just the integral from minus infinity to y of ft with respect to t, so ft here is simply our density function. So capital F of y is our accumulated density function and we can consider f prime of y that we call typically define as a small letter f of y and this is our probability density function. Note that this uh, distribution function has the property that f of y is bounded between 0 and 1 and that's exactly what makes it useful and valid link function. So we can choose any distribution function as our link function but two widely used examples of this are the so-called logit and probit models. So the logit model is using as a link function the distribution function of a standardized logistic function. So we specify the link function capital F of xi prime beta as the exponential of xi prime beta divided by 1 plus the exponential of xi prime beta. And note that this can only take on values within the range from 0 to 1. The probit model use the distribution function of a standardized normal distribution as the link function. So xi, the link function f of xi prime beta is equal to the integral from minus infinity to xi prime beta and we integrate over 1 divided by the square root of 2 pi multiplied by the exponential of minus t half or t squared divided by 2 and we integrate with respect to dt. So this is based on the standardized normal distribution that is used as the link function. Just keep in mind that the logistic function, the logistic distribution function and the normal distribution function only enters because we use it to specify the link function. So it has nothing to do with the distribution of yi or xi. So that's it. We will see lots of other details during the lecture. Thanks for watching.